So at this point, we turn to the heart of today's uh, symposium, which are the three scientific sessions. Again, there are sessions corresponding to each of the three major contributions that Dr. Witkin has made to science, DNA damage and DNA repair, transcription coupled DNA repair, and bacterial genetics. In these sessions, you will see clearly what you've just heard from the persons making opening remarks, that her work was foundational. It was foundational in that it created entirely new fields, fields that continue to this day, fields that are large and active areas of research in this, in, at this time, still today. You will see examples today of researchers who use the tools of structural biology to define the positions in space of each of the individual atoms of the biological molecular machine, the bacterial molecular machine that Dr. Wicken discovered that's responsible for DNA repair in bacteria. You will see a researcher using the tools of single molecule biophysics to watch that molecular machine move along DNA as a motor moving along a track in real time, unwinding base pairs of DNA one by one and interacting with other components of the cell's molecular machinery. You will then hear researchers using tools of genomics, genetics, and biochemistry, and cell biology to define completely providing a complete inventory of the genes at which that molecular machine works and how that molecular machine and the other molecular machines involved in DNA repair detect damage, repair damage, and interact with the other fundamental components of the cell. You will hear that information for bacteria and you will hear how Dr. Witkin's studies set the stage to understand the corresponding processes in all living organisms up to and including humans. And you will hear how those fundamental processes are important for the development of antimicrobial resistance in bacteria and how they're important for cancer and for aging in humans. And so I hope everyone will be able to see that the fields she brought to existence continue and thrive today and uh, continue to astonish with the level of information and the level of detail of that information that can be obtained. Uh, so I will turn at this point to the first of the sessions. Oh, I do want to make a comment about questions. We have a very large uh, attendance today, and therefore this event is being held in Zoom webinar mode. What that means is that panelists, those who are speakers, chairs, and hosts, may ask questions in the question and answer sessions following scientific presentations. To do so, they will raise their hand to signify their interest in asking a question using the raise hand tool uh, of Zoom. They will be recognized, they will unmute and ask a question. In addition, non-panelists may ask questions and need are encouraged to ask questions using the question and answer tool of Zoom and or the chat tool of Zoom. Uh, Non-panelists will write questions uh, using the question and answer tool or the chat tool, and the session chair or I or other hosts will identify questions and time permitting, read those questions for the speaker to answer. Uh, throughout all of the scientific presentations, we encourage questions coming from early stage investigators and students and for those people who are general attendees, asking questions through the question and answer tool or the chat uh, tool. If you are an early stage investigator or a student, please state that with your question and that will increase the likelihood your question will be selected. So at this point, I will turn to the session chair for the session one on DNA damage and repair. The session chair is Hora Mary from Vanderbilt University. Hora, please proceed.